Okay, I'm back, y'all. So we're going to do a quick read on who is spying on you. Okay, let's see who's spying on you. Let's see what is going on. What are they looking for? What are their intentions? So you will very much so know how to move, okay? jumps okay somebody can't believe something somebody said they just sitting there didn't I tell you mm -hmm. there you go you got your stand you got your spy right here they can't believe the glow up they can't believe it they cannot believe it. I'm hearing shipping from home. Some of you may have a home-based business or you're doing something that requires you to work from home. Some of you have a YouTube channel or some type of something where you do makeup. I see that as well. Um, or you ship makeup products. Somebody is watching you from a distance. They can't believe. They can't believe it. There's a lot of gossip and hearsay. Like it's like your topic of discussion. Um, they can't believe you turned up yourself. Like you turned up your your savage. You're confident. You're extremely confident in what you're doing. And this person just is watching. Like can't not believe what they're seeing. They're they're shocked. They've been trolling you online, whether it be Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. It's a group of them. Okay, they are watching you, trolling you, trolling your posts. There it go. It jumped right back out. It's a group of them that is trolling you. Okay, it's not just one person. It's, it's a bunch of them. Okay. They may be under fake profiles, trying to keep low key, um, doing a lot of pretending with this filter energy, trying to blend in with your, with your aura or vibe, mimicking you as well. But I'm getting like kind of like um, fake profiles. We got ratchet and goals right here. Okay, so this person thought that you was ratchet. They thought that you really didn't have no structure. They thought that you were wild. They thought that you were, you know, very open and like they thought you was kind of like unappealing. And, and I'm going to just say it. They thought that you were stupid. But when they saw that you had a blueprint, when they saw that you had goals, and I feel like for some of you, it's some, it's, some of the people are older than you. When they saw that you had a plan, that you had goals, yeah, all that changed. All that changed. I'm here and can't believe it. But they can't believe it because they're over here in the struggle. They're over here in the rut. They're over here annoyed. They're annoyed. Maybe they're having setbacks, okay? Yep. They're having setbacks while you're over here. Um... You got a blueprint. You got a, a plan. You got everything planned out. And they can't believe it. Them, their friends, whoever they're around, everybody cannot believe it. They talked down on you so bad. They called you trash. They said that you wasn't worth anything. They talked bad on you so bad. They said that you were supposed to be nothing. They said that you were supposed to be heartbroken and sad and lonely and depressed. Okay. They thought that you was going to be nothing. Okay. They wanted you in your feelings, honey. They wanted you in your feelings. And they are upset because you are winning. Okay. You're winning. They trying very hard to be like you. Um, mimic and copy everything that you do. We got extra and glow up wanted to jump out too. Now, 
I'm hearing somebody got ghosted because somebody thought that somebody was basic. This could be a friend or an ex or a lover. Okay. Yeah, somebody said somebody's super duper thirsty online and they got receipts. Okay. So somebody is like, it's a group of people. Yeah, they want to they wanna put you on blast. They said they got receipts where you was being thirsty online. But um, they expected for you to be in your feelings. They can't believe that you turned up on them like this. They can't believe that you even got this much confidence. Because at one point in time, maybe you were struggling in the confidence area. Now, they're sitting back looking and watching and trolling you online. And like I said, it's not just one person. It's a group of them. It's a whole squad. Okay, they sitting around gossiping about you, your topic of discussion. Okay, they said, look, they supposed to collect them, supposed to be in their feelings right now. I done ghosted them. We ain't cool no more. We ain't together no more. They supposed to be somewhere crying. But don't worry, I got some receipts. Let me pull up these receipts. Let me put that ass on blast. Okay, since they want to be so extra and try to make it seem like they doing so much better. I got, I got... Uh, receipts of them being thirsty and acting all crazy online. Let me put them out. Hmm. So I'm gonna pull a few cards. We're gonna find out some more what's going on with this person because this person seemed a little salty. Not a little salty, but very salty. Y'all like the video if this resonates. Show me, tell me more about this person that is spying on the collective. Tell me more about how this person feels. What are their intentions? What's going on? Three of Pentacles jumped. Okay. I see this person crying over spilled milk too. And here we go. Here we go. Five of Swords. We got some petty. Oh, we got some depressed energy. Okay. So... This person, this person is depressed. This person miserable. Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. This person is miserable. They are miserable. They got things that they need to work on. Some of y'all did start a business, and this person is hating and jealous of that. Some of y'all did get a new job. Some of y'all did get, in a prom get a promotion. Some of y'all are climbing up the ladder. And this person is jealous, okay? This person is extremely, extremely upset in their feelings, petty, trying to find a way to get some revenge, trying to find a way to make you look bad, okay? Y'all used to be cool. Y'all used to be close. You and this person, you and these people, y'all used to be close. King of Swords, but now this person, you and this person, y'all cold towards each other. Y'all don't even be around each other. Y'all don't even, y'all distant. They look at you as you've been just getting money. You you kind of like are distant from them. And they have major regrets about this. They feel like they should have waited. They feel like they should have waited to make some type of decision. To make their final decision. This person is waiting for you to let your guard down. Okay. This person is waiting for you to let, let your guard down. Um, I wouldn't, this person has a lot that they want to say to you to try to tear you down. And I'm hearing in this for good. Don't, don't let your guard down with this person because this person coming in with a tower energy. Okay. Tower and the Ten of Cups is somebody trying to shake your foundation, shake your happiness, um, and your stability as well with that four of wands. And I'm hearing like if they tell something that they could say could kind of bring your energy down. And they that's the that's the goal for them. Okay. That's the ultimate goal for them. Who is this person? Show me this person. Reveal this person. Could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Knight of Cups could be a water sign.
This person thinks about you all the time. Wow. Show me this person. King of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Libra. I'm hearing you doing just fine. Thank you, Spirit. This person is going to try to... Yeah, be careful. This person is going to be trying to start to slow you down. And then they're going to be trying to take your energy, take your good energy. Also, be careful because they could be trying to come in and just get what I'm getting, get what they can get and then walk out on you. Okay. So don't trust this person. Get this, make this person prove themselves to you. I'm here and waiting to see what you're going to do. Yeah, be careful with this person. And they waiting for you to let your guard down so they can be sneaky. Come back in and be sneaky again. Okay? Mm -mm. Yeah, cut this person off. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups. Some of y'all already cut this person off. This person want to be able to go back and forth. And they want to keep their options open. This person loves to... This could be a masculine. This person could be a Capricorn with a double here. This person loves to be put, put other people in third-party situations. Whether it be a friendship or a relationship or some type of connection to where it's, you know, kind of like a juggling thing. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.